This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by Owensboro Health. Well, February is Heart Health Month. Dr. John Hall of Owensboro Health Henderson is here to encourage us to team up with our doctor to stay on top of those heart health issues. Good to see you. Good to see you, Angie. How do we, you know, we go to the annual checkup or whatever else that's going on. You know, how do we prepare ourselves to ask those questions and, and really become a partner with our doctor? Well, I mean, your doctor has to do his part, checking your cholesterol, checking your blood pressure. Uh, listening to you is a big thing. Um, whatever most of the things that we can diagnose you tell us 95 percent of them before we test anything so um getting to your checkup keeping an eye on your blood pressure uh reducing stress yeah those sorts of things yeah that sort of thing which yeah. is not always the easiest thing to do right. so what are some other things that we can do i know so much of heart disease is preventable by our own choices right. and behaviors what do you recommend right. to your patients well, you guys talked about donuts earlier yes well uh, go a little light on those <laughs> um, uh, not all the time but you you can't do away with things like that completely but moderation just in, like in anything all things, else right right right, right. so increase your exercise um, and it doesn't matter if you can't get to the gym. Most people don't have time to do that. Sure. Um, you can do things at home, push-ups, treadmill, uh, walking around the neighborhood. And Whatever, just adding nice. more steps, just Absolutely. simple things. I think that one of the things that we have a, a, a fitness person on the show all the time, and, and one of the things she says is that people feel so intimidated when they're supposed to start a workout, like, I've got to join the gym, I've got right. to buy these expensive shoes, right. you know, whatever else it is, but you're not talking about that. No, it's just an everyday habit that most of us don't get into, and we need to. Yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to start a habit. It's easy to, it's hard to break a habit. Like smoking, right. for instance. Very, um, very you know, hard. I don't harp on people about smoking because if they don't know it's bad for them by now, they haven't been paying attention for the last 40 years. Absolutely. But they know, they have to know from me, I'm not trying to help me, I'm trying to help them. Right. Well, talk to us a bit about the importance of sound sleep. And, you know, we don't really um, think of that in heart health. That's not the top thing we think of diet and high blood pressure. But how important is good sleep? Right. I tell my patients, a good night's sleep is worth its weight in gold because you're less stressed. Um, you can function better during the day. Just you're more on top of your game, I guess, so to speak. And do you find that uh, heart patients are often also people who need a sleep apnea or a sleep study? Absolutely. Hand in hand? Absolutely. Um, it's become more prevalent over the past 20 years. The way I found out I have sleep apnea, I was at a hotel with my own doctor. We were at a conference and we wake up one day and he said, did you know you quit breathing when you sleep? And I was in my mid-30s. So I had no idea. Really? Yep. So you're on the machine now, on the CPAP machine. machine. Love it. It's a, it's a life change. My husband's oh, on absolutely. it as well. Oh, my goodness. The difference yeah. in him and his energy level is just amazing. Yep. I forgot mine on vacation one time. We got to Nashville, and we're heading south, and I bought another one when we got there. Yeah. Yeah, so, it, it's important to have important. it once you get Absolutely. used to it. So I know you have an important birthday uh, today in your family. Yep. My little baby cakes, granddaughter, E, happy birthday. Oh. And we'll have a party tomorrow. And how old is she? She is one. First birthday, first gran birthday, your first granddaughter. Grand what, what is she going to call you? Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Pop, pop I've wishes decided. you happy birthday. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Thank Ross. you, Angie. Take care of your heart. We'll be back.